food, and this will go into the book still, that kosher dairy products do not have these parasites, which shows you it's a matter of cleanliness. We now have all the people watching this squirming at home because they all think now, okay, I understand, I have parasites in my body, and we all do, according yes, to your of research. Course we do. So according to your research, you found that all humans have this, and as long as we're healthy, we're okay with it because the body can handle it. My next question to you is, how do we rid ourselves of these tenacious bacteria, parasites, and virus? Do you have an answer to that? The, the, the answer uh, that I came up with already in the first uh, books was the hull of the black walnut tree, but the hull has to be green. There is something in the green hull that kills everything I ever tested for, which doesn't mean everything, <laughs> but let's say uh, close to 100 parasite varieties. So you're telling me that in all of our pharmacology, all the millions of dollars spent with research and cancer, the native Indians who were using this hundreds of years ago has already had the solution to cancer? Those who were, yes, but... Uh, I don't know how much lore, folklore, there is around this, this herbal product. And there are many other good herbal products out there. I'm sure there must be other things that can do the same thing. But you found but, this to be the best product. Yes, and now we have a freeze-dried product which is even more potent than the alcohol extract uh, that, that we call a tincture. And the apparently freeze-drying preserves some extra elements so that you don't even really need the cloves and the wormwood with it. Now, not enough experiments have been done so that I can say you never need them. But a person can now use a freeze-dried variety and, and be saved the extra chore of taking so much cloves and wormwood.